Hey everybody! I got my new studio set up here. I just got back from the gym, so I didn't have time to really change my clothes. I still got my workout clothes on. I apologize about the unprofessionalism. But anyways, got the new studio, just got back from the gym. I want to dive in to the, the question I received, which was, can you make a video about the COVID vaccine? Now, this is a very, very, very important topic. And some people are not aware that a lot of countries are not giving their people the choice to rather if they want to receive the vaccine or not. Now, I've made a video about what's really going on with the whole pandemic and the whole scare. And everything I'm going to mention going forward is going to be legal documents. This is not me just, you know, a bunch of conspiracy theories and just pulling things out of a hat. No, 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 no. This is all going to, everything I refer to and all the references in this video are going to be legally proven with legal judicial documents. Legal paperwork. Right? And I'm not going to stretch. I don't like to reach or stretch in life, right? I like to stay within the lines of truth, you know, and evidence, and all of that good stuff. Now, we have something that occurred here. We have something that... I just want to offer something very curious, a very curious idea. That, you know, there were... There was a book that predicted this entire pandemic was going to happen years and years and years and years ago. There was another person that was on... In an interview on, I forget where, what, what if it was YouTube or what, but there was somebody in an interview talking about how the Rockefellers, you know, own all of the major health institutions and all the major health boards in the world, and it's very convenient too how the Rockefellers also own all of the mainstream media, everything from ESPN to Naruto. It's a little creepy, right, that this one family owns all of the television our children watches. And they also own ESPN and all of the news stations, while they also own all of the health boards, health organizations around the world. And they also have had their names legally tied to neo-Nazi business trades. Even after the genocide started to happen in World War II, they still kept doing business with neo-Nazis. And they, the list goes on, right? They have their hands blood deep. Now, I don't want to focus on the problem. Right? I like to focus on the solution, and I like to focus on, you know, the truth, which is, you know, life, life, God, whatever you want to call it, is going to burn, burn, when karma finally catches up to these, you know, psychopaths, they're going to burn and pay the price forever, because our soul never dies, right, the physical world is just an illusion, we scientifically understand that. So, but we understand, though, that this, so we understand, though, that this whole pandemic first started off with them putting it all over the news that they own, right? And then nothing was really happening. There were still more people dying from cancer, way more people dying from cancer. There was a million children that starved to death for the last couple of years. That nobody even talked about on the news, of course. I wonder why the psychopaths aren't talking about it. But then they were talking about this whole COVID. That COVID right and left, right and left, right and left. And nothing was happening. So they finally started to pay the governments in, you know, the United States, Mexico, all over the world. They started to pay each state money for every single case of COVID that the hospitals wrote off. So anybody that has pink eye or a cold or the flu, they have COVID, of course, because the states want to just cash out and make money. So guess what happened? Well, now the Rockefellers or the left-wing propagandists, the propagandists, have their big viral, you know, swine propaganda or COVID pandemic that they wanted. Now, I'm not denying that some people had COVID. But the fact that they blew it up and were paying states and promoting it on, like, crazy, non-stop, 
was very obvious. It was a very obvious. It was a, not just a distraction, but also a cash out, just like 9-11. You know, with the Twin Towers and the whole oil war in the Middle East with the whole 9-11, right? It was the same thing. One big distraction and one big cash out. One big cash cow. Now, with that being said, you know, life's going to take care of them. You know, life's always going to evolve and grow back stronger. You know, life has overcome so much. And history is not just some random... History is not just some random ordeal of events. History is a progression of life evolving and growing back further and further towards perfection. And we are so close to perfection that we can almost taste it. And, you know, they already cashed out and made billions and trillions, you know, not, not just from the COVID, but from crashing out the stock markets and then, you know, taking control of the stock markets again. There's billions and trillions in there, too. And... I'm, I'm going to stop, but it's a, it's a, it's, we're talking tens and tens of trillions, you know, of a cash out going on. Now, it's not about the money. You know, they think money is their power, but they're losing this war, and we're winning this battle, the righteous and the good, right? Life, right? The good people are winning still. It's not about the money. Now, with that being said, we understand, right, that the subconscious mind has 50 to 100,000 thoughts a day. Your thoughts dictate the vibration you're in. Now, your subconscious mind has 50 to 100,000 thoughts. You have enough energy formulating or coming out of your subconscious mind to where we can move entire planets, right? Your, your, your subconscious mind is what dictates your entire body or your molecular structure that's just vibrating accordingly to your subconscious mind. This is how we've cured millions of dollars in diseases. There was a scientist by the name of Claude Shannon that found literally strings of ones and zeros, just like computer coding, in all of life. All of life. This is literally the matrix. Where everything is, you know, being moved by our subconscious mind, right? Our paradigms are, you know, I like to use the term algorithms of your subconscious mind, because we understand, you know, scientifically, energy is all that there is, right, in modern physics. I could tell you, I can. There are so many case studies and and studies going on right now with modern physics that would just blow people's minds away. And we've got to, got to get caught up with modern physics and modern psychology because life, the world is moving faster than ever before. Now we understand that that yes, we we understand that yes, through repetition and subliminals, we can reprogram our subconscious mind and heal any problem in our body. The body is more resilient and can evolve through anything if our subconscious mind directs that energy that I'm referring to, all of that power or energy that I'm talking about. Now, you have to realize something too, though. When you, when you inject, when you inject something into your body, you know, that was created by a bunch of psychopaths, there's no doubt going to be some bad side effects and some bad juju you don't want inside your body, right? You don't want some of that bad juju. Now... <laughs> We have to understand that, yes, with subliminals, over time, we can not just resist, but we can overcome those bad side effects. Now, it's very unfortunate for people that are not awakened or don't, are not caught up with the modern physics and psychology I'm talking about, where they don't have a, a resolution. Now, I truly believe myself that a lot of the whole COVID vaccine thing is just a paradigm. It's a subconscious belief that this thing might is going to actually work or something. And of course, through that belief or that subconscious paradigm or algorithm, just like listening to a subliminal, people are going to become immune. They could just be, for all we know, it could just be water. <laughs> right? Just a bunch of red water, right? And it's just a psychological thing, just like how they, over time, repeated and repetated the idea of COVID to where some people actually believed it and manifested it into their body, right? Just like subliminals. It's how, the mod, it's how the subconscious mind works. Now, like I said, that's the good news. That's the good news. We have the ability. I made a subliminal. I literally made a subliminal to get rid of all of the bad side effects from the vaccine. But it's going to still take 21 days at least to, to build up and repetate and finally get all of that bad juju out of your body.
like I said, I don't like to focus on the bad. You know, life, we're almost at that perfection. We're almost at that perfect point where we can literally taste it. I can taste the perfection. And there are so many people. Heaven is a place on earth, and there are so many people already living in heaven, you know. Keep listening to subliminals. Keep repetitating and reprogramming your subconscious mind, and you will then manifest a new reality. Your subconscious mind creates your reality, so be very careful what you put inside of it. I love all of you. I appreciate this request. It's something very personal to me, you know. It's the whole Say Luke mission, you know, positively impact 3 billion lives by 2021. We might have to get a little creative with that. We might have to go do a, you know, an India documentary maybe or something where there's, you know, billions of people <laughs> living in India. But we'll see. We've already cured a million dollars in diseases. I have nothing to complain about. We're heading towards 10 million. I appreciate all of you guys. We're winning this battle. Don't ever, don't ever let them fool you into thinking or believing that they are winning this war. They are not. What they are doing is they have, you know, the ability to spend billions in marketing on their, their propaganda or news. All of the bad, the, that 1% of bad things that's going on in the world. Over and over and over again, while all the good people like you and me and all these other people doing good things in the world, you know, they don't need to market or, you know, get attention for all the good things they're doing. But trust me, they're, they're happening. So don't let them fool you and let, let's focus on the solution, right? Let's focus on the answer. I love all of you. Have a great day.